Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Supergoo Mineral Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. This product retails for $40. This is another launch from Supergoo and I am really excited because they say it is a very lightweight cloud-like mineral sunscreen. This is an all-white mineral sunscreen which does make me just a little bit nervous. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. They do use zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in this to check out the full ingredient list make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website the big things I'll be looking for with this product mainly include what finish does it leave on the skin is it a heavy sunscreen also if I notice a white cast on me because most likely if it does leave one it will not be suitable for people with darker skin tones and I also want to see if this product causes any acne as for anything else I'll be continuing to do check-ins so I will see you all in the next check-in hi everyone I'm here to give you all a first impression with this product product. The reason why I want to do a first impression with it is because I really want to see how unseen this sunscreen is. Now I have done a spot test of it and it does have a very nice dimethicone like feel to it. It's an all white sunscreen but on me personally it blends out to be practically sheer and it almost feels like a chemical sunscreen at least on my wrist. Haven't tried it on my face yet. This is a first impression with that. So far off of the spot test, it feels like a very unique feel to a sunscreen. Now I will have to keep you all posted on a lot with this product. So far, it's just a little bit hard to dispense. Like it's definitely coming out a little bit like uneven, but nothing too terrible. Now when I use the three finger technique, that looks pretty white. So here we go. Gosh, mineral sunscreens always make me so nervous. Especially when they are all white. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Which I use this amount of sunscreen always. Like this is the typical amount that I use for my face, my neck, and my ears. Oh, wow. <laughs> you all saw how I looked at the start. I do like it feel-wise. Like, it, it's one of the best feeling mineral sunscreens that I've tried, but yeah, no, this is looking Casper. Okay, so I looked in the mirror and it is Casper. So this is very accurate to what the sunscreen looks like. I don't think that this sunscreen is going to be tolerable for deeper skin tones at all because it is barely tolerable for me if it even is. It is a little bit like it does collect in my facial hair and in my eyebrows just a little bit. This is the standard amount that I always apply with sunscreens. It's, it's kind of what I expected from an all white mineral sunscreen, not really expecting something crazy, but it does have a nice feel to it. It doesn't feel thick on the skin and that is a plus. I'm gonna continue using it and seeing what else I notice with it. If it causes breakouts, if I feel like the white cast is still bad after continuing to use it, and also how it wears throughout the day because right now it feels extremely lightweight, like not anything is on my skin, which that is rare for a mineral sunscreen, but the, uh, it's just, I feel like it's just whited me out. But anyway, I'm gonna continue using it and I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. The only thing that I liked about this mineral sunscreen was the feel of it. It was a lightweight mineral sunscreen, but sadly this was a very bad white cast, even on me. And so I know this is not going to be designed for any skin tone that is darker than me. In fact, I don't even feel like it was designed for me because 
because it just left such a bad cast. It had a chemical like feel, which is the reason why I liked it. It was extremely lightweight and kind of felt like a silicone like dimethicone texture, which I enjoyed. But when it came to the application of this product, it was an all white mineral sunscreen and it definitely translated as that on the face. This was just such a heavy white cast and there was really no way to recover from it once I applied it. I tried applying a skin tint. I tried doing everything and it just left a very white finish to my face. It was really bad in person as well. It was bad on camera. This product is just not my favorite. I feel like Supergoop has a lot of other sunscreens and I really didn't enjoy this product whatsoever. It did feel a little bit heavy on the skin, but considering it was a mineral sunscreen, it did have a lighter weight feel compared to other ones that I've tried, but the white cast is just something that I can't get past. It really deterred me from using it a lot because it was just so bad. So for that reason, I really would recommend their new skin tint over this one because it does come in different shades. Honestly, also the N Beauty Project sunscreen that I recently tried is a better mineral option in my opinion and has around the same protection and also comes in different tints. This product just really didn't do it for me. And for that reason, I cannot recommend this product because it left such a bad white cast on me. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.